Alright guys, welcome back to another video of Logan's Ties. Today we are tying um, Hot Butt Midge. Here's a little preview of what it looks like. Hopefully the camera focuses in on that. You can't see it. We're going to tie it. So... Today's hook is a size 14 Umqua curved hook. There you go. Comes in packs of 50, about six bucks. Great nymph and scud hooks. I use them a lot. I'm um, using a tungsten black bead. Rivers Wild. Great beads. <clears throat> and I love the tungsten because they sink a lot better. So. Start out this fly. Just gonna start kind of at the back end. Some red thread. Trim that off. Very simple, simple fly. This fly I use does really well in the springtime. Great midge. So next we're gonna be tying in just some small ultra wire gold color just trimmed off a piece of that tie that in all the way back to where your thread make sure that's in nice and tight there and you want to build yourself a nice tapered body here so once you get your red thread in there you can actually just go ahead and whip finish this my thread might break here let's, let's pray it doesn't We're good. Go ahead and uh oh. This thread is not having it today. Okay. I think that's good enough. Go ahead and trim that. Next up, make sure you have two bobbins on you. It really makes life easier instead of having to switch threads. So go ahead and start your black thread now go about I'd say three-fourths of the way back depends on how big you want your the butt of your midge the red butt of your midge to be I don't like it super big some flies I do bigger than the others this one looks about right make sure I'm even Go ahead and build yourself a nice tapered body here. Tie some more up at the bead of the fly there. Okay, now I'm just gonna half hitch this right at the bead. Bring my thread cradle, my bobbin cradle over here. Next, I'm just gonna hold my wire up like this helps to have a rotary vise. Just do nice even rolls back towards your bead. Go ahead and lay that down. Like I said, it's a really simple, simple fly. And I use it just about anywhere and everywhere. Great midge pattern. Just go ahead and tie off the end of that wire. You can helicopter that or just trim it. And then just build a nice head at the bead. And then go ahead and 
whip finish this. A little slow with the whip finish, but finish that off. Trim that. And there you go. Hot butt midge. Go subscribe.